Rain continues to fall and water continues to rise in the town of Waterville. Volunteers have been working all day to help sandbag. John Lorison is there to show us how the town is coming together to fight the rising water. It needs to get done and people need, need help, so let's get out and help. It's that small town mentality that might just save Bill Struve's dental practice. You know, there's been times when there's been water over the road, but nothing like this. Struve has been a dentist for decades, and he's seen flooding before. But this is the first time he's been worried about some of his dental equipment getting damaged. This is the Cannon Lake system, and, you know, we have a lot of rain coming in from the north. That's what the problem. you got three or four, you know, areas that, you know, we drain from the north and a little slow going to, you know, out of here. So we'll see what happens. At least he's getting a hand from not only neighbors, but also patients. You know, we thought, well, it's just preventive. It won't get that high. And I came today, and I'm like... Oh my God, I started calling patients like, can you help us? <laughs> We're going to be underwater here. Within a matter of hours, the water went from the dental practice up the street and it's getting closer to these homes, adding to the urgency here in Waterville. Even from this morning, it's creeped up a lot. I mean, this wasn't even in our front yard before, so it's getting pretty scary. As the rain continues, sandbaggers quickly work to protect Lindsay Carlson's house, one of many getting attention in a waterlogged Waterville knowing that volunteers are willing to step up gives her peace of mind. I'm from a small town and I always said I would live in a small town because that community is it's where it's at. They all come together and help when you need it. In LeSueur County, John Lordson, WCCO News. With rain falling much of the day, Waterville officials aren't sure when the floodwaters will crest. City leaders say anyone, uh, they, anyone that wants to help sandbag more volunteers would be very welcome right now. Governor Tim Walz plans to make a disaster declaration to help hard-hit communities in Minnesota. He toured flood damage up north in the town of Cook today. This is uh, the nearly 90-year-old Comet Theater. As you can see, it is nearly completely submerged up to the seats. Business owners say this is a double hit after a winter with very little snow also hurt the local economy. Walz says it's important for those affected to keep receipts so the state can eventually help. Because the way this process works is we'll do a damage assessment over the coming days and weeks. Those will get funneled up. If we hit a threshold number that it looks like we will in some of these areas, but we won't know until all those receipts are in, we can apply for a federal or a presidential declaration. Once that happens, that opens up FEMA dollars to come down. The governor says FEMA funds will cover 75 percent of public infrastructure and the state will cover the other 25 percent. He says if the state doesn't meet that threshold, he will use the state disaster assistance contingency account. Those are state funds set aside for emergencies. We'll continue our continuing coverage of the rain and the floods with our next weather team. And they'll, of course, be monitoring conditions on TV and on our screen, CBS News, Minnesota.